Hello, welcome to back to Brock's basement. This is my uh, pull list video, comic book pull list video for the week of May 24th, uh, 2023. We're almost getting into summertime with June. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. First up, we have Action Comics number 1055. Um, I have not read it yet. Uh, Johnson did a good job of stuff before um, 150, uh, 1050, I should say. Uh, and so I'm just. Just gotta get on and sit down and read a bunch of stuff but we'll see next up is james tinian's blue book uh this is issue four uh it's interesting it's like a alien abduction stuff uh it's an interesting art style um yeah i'm curious to see where it ends next up is the expanse dragon tooth number two of 12 uh i love the expanse um and uh i did get the last book in it which is memories legion up there uh, which is the uh, novellas and so this is uh, so I'm, I have that to read but this is actually stuff that's in between books six and seven um, and so I'm super stoked for it I backed the Kickstarter to get the couple things extra or whatever um, but I have been picking up the single issues and I'm reading it and it's fantastic if you like the expanse check it out next up is green arrow number two uh, first issue is pretty interesting I'm curious to see what they do with it considering um, it's, I don't know, it feels like a story I've read before, um, so I'm curious to see if they make this, in, like, somehow interesting and stand out on its own. We'll see. Next up, we have Harley Quinn, number 30. Uh, I don't even know how many issues I'm behind on Harley Quinn. We're not going to get there. Uh, next up is Justice Society of America, uh, number four. John's is scheduled for release on this book is all over the place, so I've read issue one. I'll probably get caught up before we get to maybe six. We'll see. Next up, we have uh, Tom Taylor on Nightwing. Again, it was issue 104. Um, I don't know if... T I, I haven't been keeping uh, up with it, but I don't remember if Tom Taylor is going to continue on Nightwing. I know he's doing Titans, which I read the first issue. It was really good. Nicola Scott's art is fantastic in that book. Um, it's probably the first time in a long time that I've read a Titans book. And I'm like, ooh, I'm actually interested now. Uh, so definitely check out Titans. It's worth it. Next up, we have Star Wars High Republic number 10. Uh, again, I get the High Republic books only. Um, it's literally the only single issue Marvel book I buy. Um, and like maybe a couple of the High Republic minis. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Dark Horse gave us uh, Star Wars Hyper Stories at number 5. Uh, yep. Again, I get mostly to read eventually. So. Next up, we have Unstoppable Doom Patrol number 3 of 6. Uh, I read the first two issues, I think, and I've enjoyed it, so I'm going to keep going with it. Um, Doom Patrol has had a very rough uh, track record um, ever since the Morrison run of people in of like it being good. So um, this one seems to be really, really solid. So super stoked for it. And last up on my pull list is Exo Manowar Unconquered number three. I've read the first two. Um, is it Becky uh, Becky Cool? Coolanan is she's fantastic. Liam Sharp's art is amazing on it. Um, it's it's like I'm actually reading old uh, Exo Manowar stuff from their kind of relaunch, and it's really really good. So um, yeah, if you haven't checked out Exo Manowar with the the new line, creative lineup, you should. Uh, I did grab a couple variants this week. Uh, I, I'm gonna rephrase. I grabbed a few variants, so not too many. Uh, I got the B cover for the Expanse Dragon Tooth issue two. I'm I love the Expanse, so I just get them. So uh, the one in ten was a Virgin for uh, one of the characters. I always forget her name, but she's the one that's played by the lady with the raspy voice. Oh, it's amazing. I know for a guy that likes this series, I should remember these things, but I haven't read it in a while, and I haven't watched the show in a while, and I just it, I just forget. Uh, Jenny Friesen, of course, did another Harley Quinn variant, so I snagged that one up as well for issue 30. And that's it. That's the few variants I got. Um, you might be going, well, that was a short pull list. Um, there's five weeks in May, so they actually, I think, split up the last few weeks fairly well. Um, they're decent-sized weeks, but or they're medium-sized weeks, so they're not going to feel too overwhelming, hopefully. Um, but for me... It's a fairly light week, which is fine. 
I'm so far behind on stuff. I mean, I read 16 books on Sunday, which was really great. I got caught up with, um, I finished the, uh, the one Batman one bad days. Um, I really enjoyed most of those. Um, I thought they were really, really well done. Uh, I also, uh, got caught up or finished the junkyard Joe, um, by Jeff Johns, which really was good. And, uh, what else did I get caught up on? I got caught up on all my Tom King books. So Mr. Or sorry, not Mr. Merkel, uh, Danger Street. Uh, I finished Gotham year one and, uh, I read Love Everlasting. So I got caught up on those. So yeah, it's fun. Get caught up. Yeah. Anyway, um, since it's week four, um, you get solicitations where we get previews. So Marvel previews for June for August of 2023 is out. So you can snag a copy at your local shop if they get it. But we have, uh, previews issue 417 for June 2023 of books releasing in August of 2023. Um, Emmett Cadets is a Netflix series, also was um, one of the free comic book day books, and also another free comic book day book was uh, The Sacrificers. Um, shittiest paper by far. I don't know what was going on with Image, but the, the shit paper on uh, this book right here and uh, Fish Flies, the Jeff Lemire one. Uh, yeah, so you need to see what's coming out. This will get you stuff. Uh, and most independent books are through here, through previews still, all that fun stuff. Uh, Marvel, of course, get you Marvel. And then the DC Connect is always out on the last week of the month, which is next week. So I will have DC Connect next week. But that won't stop me from looking through these and dog earing the shit out of the stuff that I'm going to order. So yeah, pre order, it's a good thing. Uh,. What's going on? I was able to, with uh, Ryan Higgins and a few other people from the shop and some friends and my kids, we all were able to participate in, in um, going to an advanced screening of The Flash. Uh, we saw that last night, uh, which was Monday night, um, the 22nd of May. And um, we're not supposed to spoil anything, and I wouldn't spoil anything here. Um, but it was really good. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, I was hesitant going in. Um, Michael Keaton as Batman, if you've seen the trailers, he knocks it out of the park with his stuff. Supergirl, you've seen in the trailers. She's amazing. Um, I was just curious about Ezra Miller, their performance in this, and they do a very, very good job. Um, so it's a very, very solid film that you will want to watch. Um, my kids wanted to watch or want to see it again, so I'm most likely going to go uh, either opening night with them or uh, Friday morning uh, on June 16th. Um, so yeah, so we, I almost got to see it like an, I'm virtually seeing it like a month in advance. But uh, I do highly recommend you check out The Flash. It is well worth it. Um, it's a uh, really solid, good movie, and it just hits all of, uh, or it hits a lot of good, uh, just character things plot things uh, set things like it's 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 all over the map and it's great you need to watch it go to your theaters check it out it comes out june 16th um i was super excited and lucky uh to get it to um see an event screening and uh i hope i was not i was uh, i was not disappointed and i was very very uh it was the first time i've walked out of a comic book movie in a while where i have not been kind of just eh. so Again, check it out for yourself. Um, I think that's it. I need to get stuff done. Um, oh, I did buy uh, the Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters of the first six Final Fantasy games. Uh, Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 1 being the one on the NES. Uh, 2 being the one that... Uh, 2 in America being 4. And... Six being three, so I've played four and six Japanese, but two and three in America. Uh, and I beat all of those, I beat the first one, the second one, the third one in America, the American versions. Um, and so I'm super stoked to go back to them. I actually have played a little bit of uh, the first one, and Pixel Masters did a great job like upgrading it and all that stuff. It looks fantastic. So if you're a fan of Final Fantasy, I do recommend picking up that bundle set. Um, it was I think $74.99 on PlayStation. Uh, so yeah, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I think I'm going to enjoy it thoroughly. And I'm really curious to see the um, 
the Japanese ones that we didn't get to play here in America uh, mainstream. So, yeah. Woohoo! That's it. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Uh, leave your comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what you're picking up. Uh, questions, comments, all that stuff. Be nice. The internet is a troll factory and disgusting half the time. But we, you know, here, let's keep it comic book related, nice, and all that fun stuff. I know I might spout off occasionally here and there, but, you know, yeah, we're all. Anyway, you can follow, uh, you can also listen to me on the Comics Conspiracy podcast. We did not record this week. Um, I don't know if we're recording. We'll probably record one more, uh, and then Ryan's going on vacation, so we will be out. Um, but I will probably try and give some more content here on the YouTube channel um, since, while he's gone. He's gone for the month of June. He's going to Japan with his wife. Uh, so uh, myself and Marshall will be manning Comics Conspiracy. Uh, and uh, yeah, I get a month without Ryan and uh, all the responsibilities of, like most of the responsibilities that he has. Yay, fun times. So, uh, yeah, so I will try and do my best to come... Um, and engage in all that stuff. Uh, you can still follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Brock Sager. You can also follow me on Instagram at Brock's Basement. Uh, and you can help me and my fellow conspirators out through Patreon at www.patreon.com slash comics conspiracy. For as little as a dollar a month, you help us with keeping the podcast going and all that fun stuff and getting products. So thank you very much to our Patreon backers. It helps out immensely. Um, we did finish our Kickstarter, Meanwhile, a comic anthology. Uh, that finished up last week. Uh, and we blew past the, uh, the, um, uh, the goal we had. Um, and so thank you to all of our Kickstarter backers there. If you still would like to try and, or if you still would like to get a copy of Meanwhile, a comic strip anthology, we will have plenty. Um, you can order them through our website at comicsconspiracy.biz, uh, head over there and you can grab a copy. I'll see if I can post the link in the description below. If not this week, I'll get it down and it'll probably be a permanent thing for a little while. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.